Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to talk about the retinoscopy. So, retinoscopy is a technique for which is a type of technique of objective refraction. Mainly to find out the refractive error by using the technique of neutralization with the help of an instrument called retinoscope. So, this instrument, retinoscope, it works on the principle of Foucault's principle. So, retinoscopy in this mainly based on the fact that when light is reflected from a mirror into the eye, the direction in which the light will travel across the pupil will depend on, upon the refractive state of the eye. So, before performing the retinoscopy, we need to have the following prerequisites for the procedure. So, what are the prerequisites for the retinoscopy? So, the first is a semi-dark room. And the second will be a trial set which will consist of spherical and cylindrical lenses which is required for neutralizing the power. So the third is trial frame. So trial frame, if you want to know more about the trial frame, I have other videos which I have uploaded in YouTube. You can check there the different types and different characteristics of trial frame has been given in the other video so now four is distant vision charts then the fifth will be near vision charts and the last but not the least is the instrument retinoscope so before doing the retinoscopy we need to have we need to know this the the distance at which the retinoscopy will be held from the patient's eye should be converted to the power which to be added into the trial frame before doing the retinoscopy. So if you are using an working distance of 1 meter plus 1 diopter spherical to be used as a working distance power. So and if you are using 66 if the distance between the eye and the your retinoscope is 66 centimeter then plus 1.5 diopter should be used. So this value is fine out from the formula P equals to 1 by F. So here in most of the clinics plus 1.5 diopter is considered as a convenient one. So in most of practical cases you'll find out that they have been using this 66 centimeter as a walking distance. So now before we learn more about the characteristics of retinal reflex I need to say that while doing the retinoscopy, you will see the retinal reflex. So, where you will find that in case of ref uh, low refractive error, you will find that the uh, you will find that the reflex or the retinal reflex will be wider in case of low refractive error, and whereas it will be seen as thinner or narrower in high refractive error. So let's watch this video. Here you can see it is thinner and here it is wider. So these are the difference. Now let's see the other characteristics. So this is width moment. So you will find width moment reflex when the patient is usually hyperopic. So to neutralize this type of movement you have to use plus lenses or convex lenses. So let's see. Here you can see the reflex is moving along with the retinoscopic reflex. So they are both moving in the same direction. Now let's see the against movement. Here what you see that the, the retinoscope and the retinal reflex are moving in opposite direction and if you get this type of moment you need to neutralize it with the help of minus lenses or concave lenses so now this is the no movement so this type of movement you will find when you have neutralized the eye so this is the final movement where what where while doing the retinoscopy you have to find out till this point until your pupil until your patient's pupil get fully covered with light 
so you can see this is no movement why it is called no movement you can see the reflex the pupil reflex or the retinal reflex is totally filled here you watch again here you can see so when you reach this moment or this type of moment when you see this type of reflex or no reflex then you know that you have reached the final utilized power so so in this video i'll show you one example of how to do a retinoscopy if the patient is having a spherocylinder power so you can see the trial frame the patient is wearing a trial frame so for the other is you have to neutralize one meridian first then proceed to the another meridian so here we will neutralize the vertical meridian first then we will neutralize the horizontal meridian so let's watch so we have to place the working distance so here we have been using plus 1.5 which means we have been we are doing the retinoscopy from a distance of 66 centimeter now we have to see the reflex here you can see the reflex is with movement so now what you have to do is we have to add plus spherical lenses convex lenses here we have added plus two convex lenses now now we have to change the reflex again now let's see what type of reflex we find so it is still with movement but you can see the reflex inside is a bit wider than the previous one so it means that we are more closer to our neutralization point but still it is the whole pupil is not been filled so we have to proceed with the higher power now let's proceed with plus 2.5 here you can see the pupil reflex is almost filled but not totally filled so we have to still we haven't reached our neutralization point so we'll still proceed with the higher plus power or plus lenses now let's try with plus 3 now let's see the reflex again you can see the whole people is filled so now we know that we have neutralized the vertical meridian with plus 3 spherical power now what you have to do is you have to rotate the rotating sleeve of the retinoscope and to rotate the reflex retinoscope reflex to the horizontal meridian now let's see here you can see it has been rotated in horizontal meridian now we have to check the reflex in 180 degree here you can see the reflex is with movement so now we have to add plus cylindrical lenses now let's see we have used plus one spherical cylinder or sorry cylindrical lenses now let's see the reflex you can see it is still with movement so the pupil is not filled so we have to add a higher plus cylindrical lenses now let's draw with plus 1.5 here we are with plus 1.5 now let's check the reflex again still the pupil is not totally filled so it means we haven't reached our neutralization point now let's try with plus 2 now check the reflex now you can see it has been totally filled so in the horizontal meridian plus 2 cylindrical is used to neutralize so from the axis here you can see in the trial frame you have to note down the axis so here the axis will be 180 degree now the question is what is the neutralization point of the tested eye and the answer will be 
plus 3 diabetes spherical plus 2 diabetes spherical at 180 degree. So similarly you can do the retinoscopy with the other eye. So I hope you understood. Thank you for watching my video.